and welcome back to World of Warship and in just a couple more hours uh, for NA and EU there will be in the new patch and the new patch comes with the new uh, French destroyer line and a new premium ship and it's the tier 10 Soviet light cruiser Smolensk uh, and also share with you how much does it cost but first thing is first I would like to uh, mention that I believe guys without saying too much that the uh, French destroyer are unique uh, speed demons without smoke very good guns and very good AP and in many ways it's extremely good torpedoes as well especially at tier 9 and tier 10 but I do believe even from the lower tier you do have uh, pretty decent uh, good torpedoes now something else I would like to mention it's very hard for a battleship uh, especially um, German battleship and some other uh, battleships with a uh, very bad Sigma to aim from long distance and hit a uh, uh, French destroyer uh, however I just say however there is literally two nations that you have to be uh, pay attention to and there it's the Soviet destroyers and Soviet cruiser why they have laser guns and guys one uh, now let's talk about Smolens because uh, I will exo explain what's her specialties her specialties actually to kill the French uh, destroyer I'll explain you why I and of course I don't have a small lens I will purchase her and I also share with you what kind of ship she will be and uh, how much will it cost uh, what is the small lens small lens literally gu guy it's a bigger larger uh, Grozovoy if you imagine this the small lens even bigger than a Grozovoy and not six but uh, 16 of exactly those guns and those guns are real guns 950 meters per second which basically means guys this is my honestly opinion the new oncoming tier 10 small lens will be extremely um, shall I say dangerous versus all French destroyer why because those guns guys the only limitation what the small lens have it's actually the range otherwise uh, this is amazing you can have the small lens as low as 3.3 seconds if you um, put all the bills like I do have it's literally the same guns uh, 130 millimeter what Grozovoy has and you see here AP and HE whopping 950 meters per second uh, uh, once again guys uh, sure she is a cruiser with Citadel however versus Colbert she does have quite a few good consumable and I will explain you why the percent to put your enemy on fire with those guns are 9% this is 8% sorry exactly like Grozovoy this is stock without anything else um, the same AP damage same HE damage it's exactly once again Grozovoy guns guys now the torpedo are not quite Grozovoy you only have uh, 8 kilometer storps and you have 10 of them um, so they are uh, reload time 131 seconds base and speed it's 30 knots 8 kilometers sure that's the thing is guys she does have smoke and I do believe it's close to a regular Soviet smoke but you do not have quite a lot of them now I like to uh, talk about her um, shall I say her um, downside it's actually the range um, And probably the uh, fire range 13.8 this is without advanced firing training and without any uh, upgrade module 13.8 at tier 10 that it's bad really really bad I uh, uh, urge you to do everything you do in your power to have better range because at 13.8 kilometers range that's bad even for a tier 7 cruiser for crying out loud let alone tier 10 
how I get, however, you do have exactly like a uh, Grozovoy uh, option that probably you need advanced firing training. But even with advanced firing training, I do honestly believe, guys, that the range will be uh, close to 15 km, which is bad for a tier uh, at 10 really really bad so those uh, battleships which are far more than 17 18 kilometers from uh, this smolensk will not be afraid she does not quite have range that's the i do believe it's the um, uh, balancing factor it's the damn range uh, however the concealment it's great and so goes with the uh, Concealment it's 12.8 not crazy good, but you can still put the camo and a concealment expert air detection is 7.4 and this is the same um, I do believe it's detection of uh, her AA. It's also 7.4 which is bad But on the other hand this ship it's a AA monster. It's a literally a no-fly zone and you don't want to strike um, small ends why if you are a cv you might lose all your damn planes sure you may do one drop and but then you pay with all planes gone uh, it has one of the best long range uh, aa guns in this game it's literally close to atlanta at tier 10 she cannot be touched by the cv uh, detection of the fire in the smoke it's 5.91 and this is kind of important why because let's talk about the consumable and I do believe it's close to the consumable what you have for a destroyer you have first it's the damage count the second one it's um, defense AA this this perk and uh, uh, sorry this one or hydro so you can choose other hydro or uh, defense AA. I actually will choose hydro. Why? It's because in the near future there won't be any CV at tier 10. No CV will play the next patch. So your potent strong AA, uh, it's, it's useless when there are only a buttloads of destroyers and especially French destroyers. The smoke you only have two charges so you really need superintended so with superintended you have three charges and the action time it's 20 seconds and smoke screen dispersion time it's 89 seconds the reload time are uh, pretty long uh, with premium um, consumable you have 160 seconds and action radius the the bloom um, wide it's 450 meters and on slot 4 you have heal uh, so uh, you only have three of them with super intent you have four guys in my honestly opinion the small link it's very hard counter uh, versus every single french destroyer because the french destroyer even though they have good guns the shells of are not so flat as the Russian. The Russian literally are rail guns. It's literally a Zao with 16 guns. Sure, you have quite few than 12. You have 16 uh, and a smaller caliber. But what I'm trying to say, you will hit the damn destroyer if you are good at aiming each and every time. And 16 guns, one uh, salvo at every, I don't know, 3.36 second it's so much dpm guys if you are a destroyer don't come close to this one because it might have not the radar but it might have hydro and if you are in the gun range you as a destroyer captain you are screwed now uh, for the battleships captains of course you may argue that um, um, she will definitely put your enemy on fire but it's again there's one thing i kind of forgot about uh, this ship uh, the grozovoy guns are not a joke if you are especially u.s battleship and sh showing you broadside uh, the smolensk will hit you very very hard with 16 guns and use ap i do believe you will melt like there's no one business and the heal back with ap damage received it's not so much effective like the 
um, HE spammer so you you you, you get the point and guys, without saying too much, it's the same story if you're a light cruiser or any kind of cruiser who's showing you broadside. The small lens will melt you in seconds because that's too much DPM. I believe without saying too much, uh, she will have by far one of the best DPM in the game. Uh, I'm talking about overall damage per minute. So the final uh, word I like to say guys, it's the price. The price of this baby will be 244,000 uh, coal. Sure, you do probably have uh, the coupons in Armory and that will lower her to 183,000 coal. Is she worth it? The answer, if you have enough coal, yes. Uh, she is, in my honestly opinion, has better tools, more tools than a damn Colbert and require less this bullshit uh, uh, for new grind line to receive that ship for free and this is also a free if you have enough coal if you don't have enough coal i advise you to open more containers and uh, be in a clan battle so you can uh, there's way so many different uh, missions to receive coal. Coal, you have to only play the game as regular. You don't have to do a special thing and you can still earn coal each and every day. Uh, but once again, w let me know in a comment below 244,000 or with coupons 183,000 uh, coal. Is she worth that? Uh, I believe, guys, she is. I will actually purchase her. Why? It's because let's go to port, let's go to my armory. I do have as much as this is uh, the reason I'm saving my coal for. It's actually this ship, guys. I love the Grozovoy. I believe Grozovoy it's one heck of a good destroyer with the pretty alright ish um, uh, torpedoes. But the guns, the guns are everything, even though she has the downside. Well, I do have 396, so uh, with coupons 183,000, I can uh, purchase her almost twice. <laughs> So guys, let me know in a comment below, will you purchase the small lanes in just a couple days? And if you do it, if you have a great uh, battle, send me some replay. I very much would like to comment that replay. Thanks guys for watching and always captains, fair seas and goodbye.